uh, you're standing here after picking up a victory. It must be uh, pleasing for you not to, not to be talking about another draw today. Listen, in the eight, 84th minute, I was dreading coming in here and going eight on the bounce. First half, we should be out of sight. If, it, if, if, if you look at all the chances, Corey Whiteley does magnificent to come in. He's got a slide in the corner. Um, Corey Whiteley again, ball through, keeper comes out. He's got to slide it into an empty net. Um, Marshy's one offside potentially, but we had a couple of opportunities where I felt that we could have put them to the sword. In fairness to them, they changed their shape, brought Mendy to right wing back to deal with Corey because Corey was causing problems. They put Danny Green at left wing back, who's bright individual, knows the game, so he'll, he'll shut out Kane Smith at times. And they make a change at half time where they try and stretch us with a kiddie that come on, um, Fasim Made or whatever his name is from Bath. So, yeah, fairness to them, they, they, they changed it shuffled the pack and I felt that for 15-20 minutes in the second half it was a little bit bitty. They probably had a little bit more energy because they've probably been on the back of a large portion of us taking the ascendancy in the first half. So I don't, yeah, I can analyse it to the hill. We've won 3-1. That's all I care about. The goal that got us the lead from Jamal, I don't know if it come off his head, ear or shoulder, but it went in and Cabs, Cabs for me frustrating today as, as much as he's been brilliant he was coming off with 15 to go and I'm thinking I can't he's gets our goals he's gone and got a brace in the last 15 minutes so he needs to add little bits to his game I need to address it with him I need to talk to him because I think he could go to the next level if he did what is he now 16 goals again it shows you where he's at as a striker but yeah bottom line is we've won a game of football we parked that now. We, we got to focus on Chesterfield Tuesday evening. Does that victory now change the mentality for your boys going forward? Like they, they can now believe in themselves more, they can pick up the three points? I don't think we don't believe in ourselves. I don't think with our performances against Sutton, Hartlepool, um, Solly Old Torquay, Notts County, we don't believe in ourselves. These are big sides at this level, and we've more than matched them, taking the lead on four of them games. Um, so the belief is 100% there. Possibly we've broken through that safety net in terms of going 1-0 up, 1-0 and then going to get a brace late on. It's something that we've always spoken about. We used to do that with um, games last year, but we were chasing the game in terms of a win today in the 84th minute. And I felt that we, yeah, we were productive in them last six to eight minutes to go and secure the 3-1. But hopefully now, like you said, it's, it of course there's a confidence, but for me, I think the performances have been there. I think the performances have been very good. I think we've created a lot of chances at times, even in the Sutton game where we had probably the guilt edge chance with Cabs. And in the Hartlepool game, we had a host of chances in the first half and again, didn't put them to the sword. And you're just waiting, thinking, is it going to be another one of them days? So I'm thankful that that wasn't the case. I'm thankful that we gone and got three points. And yeah, like I said, I parked that now. We've won a game of football. We still sit 11th. We're still six points off the playoffs. For me, it's about the next game. The next game's so important. The game against Chesterfield, who are an unbelievable side under James Rowe. He's done a fantastic job there. They probably don't feel that they should be at this level. They're a massive club and they're going in the right direction with him at their, uh, at their top of their ship. So for me, Wallstone's done. Chesterfield becomes the focus.